Welcome to the homework for lesson four. This is module eight of second grade. Name first, please. Use your ruler to draw two parallel lines that are not the same length. Well, if you have a ruler, you can just put it right on top and draw above and below the ruler because it should, most of them are thin enough that they'll fit in here so and just to show I want to try to get the endpoints to match up like I would if it was a tape diagram there those are parallel and not the same length and I'll draw two that are the same length And now you don't have to measure these to get them perfect. They just have to look like they're the same length. There. And if you draw one a little bit too long, like that bottom one looks a little bit longer, you can just shorten it but with your eraser or add some to the other line to make it the same length. Draw a quadrilateral. And please, you have to use a ruler or some kind of straight edge for this. You really, really have to because it's not good. They're not going to be straight lines and they're not going to look parallel if they're not straight. You have to do it. And you don't have to use a ruler to do it. You can use, there's lots of stuff you can use. All you need is something that's straight. Uh, you can use the edge of an envelope, uh, the back of uh, the spine of a magazine. You can use, um, there's all kinds of things that you can use for a straight edge. Uh, so please use a straight edge to make sure you have a straight line. It's, this is all about drawing something and getting it to look right. So don't skip that part. Draw a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel sides. What is the name of this quadrilateral? Okay, two sets of parallel sides. So that means that the top and bottom are going to be parallel. And this left and the right are going to be parallel to each other. And there's this kind of a rule, too, that when you have this parallel, opposite parallel sides, when they're like this, they're also equal length. Let me clean this up a little bit. So this is, there's a few different names for this shape. You could call it a rectangle, but I'm just thinking right now we're talking about just parallel sides and you didn't have to necessarily draw a rectangle. Um, so what we're looking for here is a parallelogram. And it might be easier to think of instead of two sets of parallel sides, it might be easier to think of this as uh, as uh, opposite all parallel sides, opposite all opposite sides parallel, or think of um, opposite equal sides, because as long as you have that, then you are also going to have they're also going to have to be parallel for a quadrilateral. Draw a quadrilateral with four square corners and opposite sides the same length. So with four a quadrilateral with four square corners, the only thing that's all you need to know about that is that once you hear four square corners rectangle has to be a rectangle and using a ruler and one of the things that you can do oops sorry about that one of the things you can do is use your ruler both sides of your ruler to make make sure the sides are parallel and then use your eraser to clean it up and add, this is actually a square but we're really looking for is for score four square corners and opposite sides 
the same length. So that doesn't mean that they all have to be equal to each other, but just that like this side has to be equal to that side, and this one is opposite to this one, and so those two are equal. So this, I'm going to call this a rectangle, which kind of looks a little bit like a square, and it might be, but uh, squares are a kind of rectangle, so rectangle works here. And here we have it, a square is a special rectangle. What makes it special a square has all equal sides. Or all sides equal to each other. Right, because rectangles can be, um, they can be long and skinny, but squares are, they always have to, all the sides have to be the same. Color each quadrilateral with four square corners and two sets of parallel sides red. Now, here's kind of a trick that may make this easier. If it has four square corners, it has to have two sets of parallel sides. So for the red ones, you're just looking for four square corners. That's the easiest way to think of it. So let's look at what we have here. So for red, four square corners. I see this one here has four square corners. So I'm going to color that guy red. And this square definitely has four square corners. So I'm going to color him red. And I don't see any other shapes with four square corners. Okay, so that one's done. Color each quadrilateral with no square corners and no parallel sides blue. No square corners and no parallel sides. Well, let's see. Uh, this one has all sides parallel, opposite sides parallel, right? Uh, this one has kind of like this, this one has two sides that are parallel. This one has four sides that are parallel. This one has the top and the bottom are parallel. This one kind of looks like a kite. None of the sides are exactly parallel to each other, so we can color this one blue. And it may actually be a kite. There is a shape that's named a kite. And the, the thing about kites is that this side would have to be equal to that side, and this side would have to be equal to that side to be a kite. And this one here also has no parallel sides and no square corners. It looks kind of like an arrowhead or a dart, maybe, or something like that. Uh, this one here has top and bottom are parallel, so that won't work. This one has, uh, has top and bottom and left and right are parallel. This one has kind of like this side is kind of parallel to that side, so that one we can't color blue. And this has this one is parallel to that one, so we can't color that one blue. All right, now color each quadrilateral with one or more sets of parallel sides green. All right, so let me get my green marker here. And that's going to be, I think that's going to be everything else. So uh, one or more sets of parallel sides. So this has two sets of parallel sides because the top and bottom are parallel and the left and the right are parallel. Now this next shape here doesn't exactly have a top and a bottom and a left and a right because of the way it's kind of dangling, but the top and the bottom are parallel to each other, so this is going to be green. And this one has these sides are parallel and so are these to each other, so that's green. This one here has the top and the bottom are parallel, so... There. And now this one also has top and bottom is parallel. This one has top and bottom and left and right are parallel to each other. 
and this one that's parallel to this so this is green and here we have a left and a right that are parallel so I can color in this whole thing green let me zoom out just to show you what everything looks like 